nothing like some morning sunshine, some strong coffee, and a rip off the old bone. Gonna uh, have a look at some art here. These are the biggest prints I've printed, 22 by 30 inches. And there's been some folks asking about big work, so I'm going to uh, just shoot a video, sort of going through the stack, to sh and then upload it to YouTube or something so people can see what's in it. I'll also take photos of some so I can upload them to my website. But um, if you have a bong and some weed, I recommend taking a rip as well, because uh, I think the art looks better when you're a little bit high. better. <coughs> Ooh, you really got to get your lungs used to doing bong hits again. <coughs> Wait here, let me just adjust the camera. Mm -hmm. This morning light, as nice as it is, So this is, I think, half the size of these other ones. What do you got in here? All the same. This print is the military industrial complex. There's a smaller, like, 9x12 version I made of this as well. I mean, same core image, different, uh, different layout. else in here haha <laughs> god what year was this 2011 uh, two foxes or two wolves and a few out wow, blueberry prints this is one of the first prints that I ever made Get those on the website. Gosh, I can't believe it. It's, it's so warm in here. I'm taking my sweater off. Or one of my sweaters. Alright, let's get to the main course here. This big bird actually made this to cut out and then like hang on the wall or whatever tape to the wall. I should do that. I think I'll put that one aside. <laughs> well, yeah. Gotta try to stay focused here. Oh, some positives. Well, Alright, good to know. That's where I spend half my life shuffling papers and like things from one stack into another. So this print is two phoenixes. Or two phoenai. That's the case maybe. There's a bunch of different colors. Most of them are much more bold than this color pattern. This is actually silver and gray. Yeah, these are 18 by 24 inches. I 
like orange and magenta and black are a great color combination. Huh, I should put one of these on up on my wall somewhere. So you know, I guess I'll quickly just go through them. That one's a misprint. It's all smudgy over here. So most of these are color tests, if not all. Oh, I think I additioned this. So yeah, some of these are some additions. They aren't signed yet. But I've got a list of like the stuff. <laughs> I'm semi-organized sometimes. These might all be misprints in some form or another, or something I deemed as misprints. I think I have more of these downstairs. But... All right. Now this print is. Based on Cinco de Mayo, the 5th of May, which, I mean, before making this image, which I made in 2008, I didn't know anything about Cinco de Mayo. I thought it was just like a big party or something. <laughs> but it's uh, it's when the French army, or when the, when the Mexican army uh, beat the French army in some you know important battle in Mexico. It was like French colonial army. I think. I still don't know much about it, obviously. But this is like, these are like Mexican sort of god, weird, like, freaky figures. And this is a French a cockerel or something like that. It was like, it's the, uh, or was the national, like, animal of France. And it's getting its ass whooped. This is a crazy, I didn't print very many of these. I was just trying to like do crazy psychedelic stuff, but sort of didn't feel this was quite cohesive enough to, to run with, but uh, I like it now. I should put one of these up too. So I didn't do many of these, but there are a few here, five or something. The wolves. So I think a big chunk of this, there's quite a few of these wolf prints. And they're all different. Let's see what we got here. I see some damaged paper. Oh man. So much shit happens. Like I, without a flat file, it's hard to keep paper safe. So with these prints, I, was, I had a, a bunch of different sort of background or you know different mo design motifs, and then these big wolf sh or fox shapes, and I would like combine them in different ways. Um, this one never got any wolf layer. Pretty cool print. That one's in good shape. This print. Oh, sorry. this corner is bent up. Ooh. That looks like it might uh, work in black light. Paper can be trimmed. I think this paper was longer, that's why it was sticking out and got all bent up. It just got bashed. 
It's really thin, this paper. It's like Japanese stuff, I think. Yeah. But a lot of your damage. I mean, I printed these maybe almost 10 years ago, and they've just been like in storage, or I mean, here they're just on my couch for crying out loud, because I got nowhere convenient to put them. Um, there's these big things called flat files, like giant sh shelves that are deep and wide, but not very like high for big pieces of paper. Uh, they used to be used for maps and stuff and ships too. And yeah, like that's what the professional way to store this stuff, but they're like thousands of bucks. I could make something, I guess. Wish it wouldn't. You know, hold on, I gotta focus here. I'm getting into some more interesting prints. That bong hit really hit me. I hope uh, your bong hits have hit you guys too. That one's like that one. That's pretty cool. That one's pretty cool. Well, my favorite one from this series was like three wolves. It was horizontal, I had three wolves. They were different colors. It had like a magenta sun, but then some folks bought it at an outdoor sale in Toronto, and I didn't get a photo of it. I was never uh, able to recreate it, or maybe I never tried. Um, that's pretty cool. So yeah, as you may have noticed, and as I may have mentioned, all the ones in the series are, you know, oh yeah, so this one's even numbered, number three. So I've got a spreadsheet on my computer where I keep track of like what I've numbered from editions in the past. So presumably I've like written down how many I've numbered. And so any other ones here, I would, I would you know, add to the sequence. 2012, oh, drunk. Yeah, these are all, well, not all, but this one again is a bit bashed up. Ah! There's a calendar I made 11 freaking years ago. That's back when I was just a couple years into printing. I think I was, this was one of the first big prints I made in those. So excited to like be able to do a big psychedelic calendar. Didn't sell very well. Actually, all my calendars, I end up sort of, they end up being a lot of work and they just don't sell well enough to sort of, you know, make it worthwhile, quote unquote, financially. Back in the early days, I didn't, you know, when I had more passion or something, I just, I would just do it anyways for the love of the craft, but oh, I can't be bothered in these days. Although I do do lots of things that are to make money, I think that. But a calendar isn't one of them. Wow, more. More oh, box. I guess the uh, image was a bit dark there, still is. Hopefully good now. Oh, inky fingerprints. Here we go for fresh. Look at all the headies, all fucking damaged, freaky.
That was classic wolf on his own. I keep interchanging wolf and fox, but these things are wolves. That one's in perfect shape. Remember when printing these, it was like the it was sort of hard. They were, the screens were a bit big or something, or a bit big, or a bit small for the image, like a bigger screen. Like it was hard to get proper contact with the screen and the ink. So it was sort of a hassle printing them. And I never sort of like, like usually I do all these experiments and then pick my favorite to do, you know, favorite few to do editions of. But I never really found many favorites, except for that one that had the three, the one I was talking about earlier, but it's like I couldn't quite remember it well enough. That one's pretty cool. It's also in good shape. Only the tiniest inky dot. Yeah, a lot of these sheets I'll just end up using, like I'll cut them up and use them to print on the other side. Like it's really nice paper, a lot of this stuff. So yeah, I got, there's two couple in here. Giant versions of elephants in the forest. Gosh, I can't even guess what might be next. Oh my god, more wolves? So yeah, this one was packaged properly and is in perfect condition. Well, here's some, uh, oh, what is this? These are some prints I got. When I had an uh, art show in New Zealand, some local screen printers came and gave me some other stuff. Oh, this is like some of my private collection of prints. They won't give me that. Not very interesting, really, I don't think. Why is it all stuff from New Zealand? Screens. More of the Cinco de Mayo ones. Yeah, nothing that interesting there. Two or some more of my private collection. Oh wow! God, I forgot I had actually bought one of these 3D pieces. Yeah, this is from Yo Rodeo. They're Halifax-based printers, and this friggin' thing is uh, like they do. It's really effective 3D and just like really great concepts and style they have too. Shit, man, I gotta get a frame for this bad boy. I think maybe I did a trade with him. I don't think I would have paid. Like, they're pretty expensive. <laughs> I'm a cheap ass dude. <laughs> I mean, this might have been selling for a couple hundred bucks. So it's just really, that's outside my price range, usually. Yeah, yeah, some nice stuff here. This is also a rodeo. What's this thing? What else we got here? Oh man, look at these. Yeah, this is also your rodeo shit, man. I'm putting myself to shame here, uh, showing me this better, nicer work. <laughs> 
I don't know if they're really making stuff anymore. I mean, it's too hard to make people living, living in the city. Looks like it glows in the dark. And all I got is wolves. They look pretty nice. Calendars. See, all these ones that we just looked at were 22 by 30 inches. This one's 18 by 24. Octopus versus Tornado. I have more of these downstairs, maybe even more in the stack. Oh yeah, this is a print I bought. I don't know why, when I was first getting into screen printing, it's a very weird choice, I gotta say. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep this in the stack until, uh, I don't know, until, uh, some weird possible future comes along. This is the test print of a mind boat or a meditation inspired print. These are some from the this is the main the main edition. I'm so high, 18 by 24. Okay, can you see over here how nice and silver it is? Yeah, you can. I don't think you see the sparkles, but I see little specks of blue and green and magenta. You did have a bomb hit, and then you're probably not seeing it quite like I am. This is a little awkward registration. And the black ink is just yet, it's all like sort of effed up down there. You could cut it into a bleed. This black ink really scuffs easy, and this is in pretty good shape. There's no big scratchy scuffs, but I'm sure it's a bit of it, like burnishing in some areas. Big areas of dark are sort of hard to maintain. More of those bad boys. This was just uh, I was making some wrapping paper here. Oh yeah, look at that. this. Wow, that's pretty cool. What next? More wolves? Edition. I wasn't selling well. I cut a bunch of them up into like smaller pieces because it was just not selling very much and I saved a couple. I sort of meant to reprint it in a easier to like deal with format. So this is like not a size that you can get a frame for off the shelf. Up here is the, uh, looks like the Southern Cross. Printed this in New Zealand, or I drew it in New Zealand. Maybe I printed it in Toronto. So well, that's it, just cardboard. So yeah, that was the most exciting part of that was finding the uh, fuel rodeo stuff.
But that is the, the largest prints I have. I've got more 18 by 24 ones um, downstairs. So I can, I won't, maybe I'll shoot another video soon of that. But I got some other stuff to do right now. So I'm just going to upload this to YouTube pretty much uncut. And um, yeah, if I sent you a link, then uh, you can have a, hopefully you enjoyed the show. <laughs> um, have a good one. Oh man, should I have another little hit of that bomb? I guess so. It's a nice day, it's still cold. But the temperature's going up this week. I think like 11 degrees on Thursday is the forecast. So uh, that'll be fucking awesome. It's only like five or six days away. I can go camping possibly. Need a winter tent. All my tents are like pretty mesh based, which would be pretty darn chilly, I believe. Like you want to be able to have at least a little bit of, be able to like maintain the warmth or keep the wind out. My fuck. All right, I got to go do some work for the Dirty Burger Print Club. Uh, check it out at onlybams.com. <laughs> All right, here we go.